So you mentioned in Wrestling Life that the Brands brothers looked up to uh, Royce Alger, who was known for pushing the limits of physical wrestling, but not getting too rough. So how do you find the line between extreme physical wrestling, but at the same time, not rough wrestling or angry wrestling? So that line between aggression, tough wrestling, and anger. Well, I think anger would cause less successful wrestling. I think anger would cause you to make mistakes and actually get out of position. Uh, because I think anger is kind of a loss of control. And there can be a furious type of attack. Mm -hmm. But I think if it crosses the line to anger, then you're going to be vulnerable. And so Royce and the brands wrestled to the edge, through the edge, but when the whistle blew, they stopped. And there's people that when the whistle blows, they keep going. Mm -hmm. It's like in a football game, a fight breaks out and it's after the whistles blow. Well, when the whistle blew, they they backed off. Mm -hmm. So that whistle was something that in a match that, that kind of gave them the boundaries. But perhaps it could be a little bit of fuel. So in Wrestling Tough, the book that you just got from Mike Chapman, uh, the new edition, talks about Bill Cole, undefeated Northern Iowa wrestler. And uh, how he talked about how my strength, speed, and ability to think were increased tremendously by just sitting apart from the action prior to the match and getting into a state of controlled anger. So can anger... Controlled anger. That's controlled. Cool. Yeah. So anger could be fuel as long as it's controlled. Right, exactly. Uh, you had that line. One side of the line, you can have an anger for a performance. And the other side of the, of the line, you if you go beyond that, it's not going to be for performance. It's going to be for not performance because you're going to lose points. Yeah. It's a fine line. There's definitely a fine line. You're talking about Roy Selger. You're talking about Tom Brands. You're talking about Terry Brands. I mean, you got world championship titles there. You got Olympic championship title there. You got a world silver medalist in in uh, in uh, and Roy Selger. And you know, and that that's what when I talk to him about the world silver medalist, he's haunted by that because he was actually 20 seconds away from winning when he got beat in the end there. But that's part of the game, and. It's, I don't know whether he's okay with it or not. Cause he says every, after talking about things, he goes, I'm okay with it now. But then he keeps talking about it. Hmm. So I don't really think he's okay with it. And I, it's, it's hard for him to actually make amends to himself when you really don't do it. I mean, it's no matter what the situation, even with the Owings loss. Yeah. It still eats it. I mean, yeah, I, I'm a world champion. He's not. And, and he wanted to be. Yeah. I'm an Olympic champion. He's not. And he wanted to be. One of the greatest coaches of all time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and so, you know, so he, you know, it's like, why do I keep going back to it? Because because you're not, you don't get over those things. It's so cool. Royce really keeps going back to it, even though he says he's fine. and he, and But then he realizes he's really not fine. Because that's just the nature of the game. And that's why he was able to win national titles and, and make uh, world teams and, and stuff like that. Uh, you know, even it, it, what's interesting about him, he's analyzed all the people that he's wrestled. And a lot of them have won world and Olympic championships. And he's beaten every one of them at one time or another. And he didn't get to that world championship gold or, or Olympic gold. And that, I, I he says it because... They did it, so he show he's showing people that that I beaten those guys, yeah. But apparently, he didn't beat him at the right time, and so it still haunts him. You you don't get away from that stuff.